Okay, let's just get to it. The quarterback, one of the quarterbacks, Tanner Mangum, is with <laughs> yeah, us well, in Studio the, B. The quarterback, there's, t- there's there are two, two, right? Yeah, there, or is there, are there one? Uh, Welcome to Studio B, man. It's taken you. way too long I to know. get you in here. Way too long. It's always been off-site, but it's good to finally be here in Studio B. It's an honor. <laughs> well, well, the first is it, is it really an but honor? But it really Tanner? is, though. I mean, I you see this all the time. You you, know, you watch TV, you see it on Twitter. So now to finally be in the seat is pretty special. Well, you've been in here because you and I chatted the day after the Hail Mary in here, but it wasn't on BYU Sports Nation. True. It was in here? Yeah. Oh, it, was wow. right th- it was right over right there. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Well, in that it's, case. It was so memorable, huh? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> well, it was early in the morning. I got like two hours of sleep that yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> Understandably, yeah. after the Nebraska Hail Mary. Why? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> How's your summer been thus far? Well, I mean, what's, what's your average summer day like? Well, we have workouts in the mornings. Working hard there, they're pushing us t- hard, so it's it's been good. And then uh, I go to work, and, uh, and then just you know hanging out and making the most of it. So it's been good, but it's, it's gone by fast. As in, you have a job other than BYU football? I do. Yeah. You I can't do. just live off the stipend. <laughs> no, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, it makes some money on the side, you know. Yeah. But no, so it's been good. It's been going by fast, which is good because I think everyone's excited for the season to start start up. And usually, you know, I feel like the off season takes forever. And it kind of has, but at the same time, it's gone by fast. Mm. It's kind of that point now where, like, okay, we're a month away from fall camp, yeah. two months away from the game game time. So it's kind of to that point where you can you can taste it. So yeah, it's it's, it's almost there. Yeah, we're excited. Where do you work? Domo. Oh, nice. You probably seen the billboards. You know, the, the, Jackson Emery. Yeah, Jackson Emery works there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's it's been good. Good place to work. Nice. Tanner Mangum staying busy clearly during the off the off season with the yeah. mandatory voluntary yeah. workouts. <laughs> it's like 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 back in the day, Gary Shetty would just go like fish for three months <laughs> and then show up and play. But it's a little different now. It's right? a little different. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I guess fishing is is uh, kind of a good workout, but not really. So, yeah. what do you what do you do with the limited free time that you have over the summer? Uh, I like to golf, but. I'm why, not that, have we, why have we not played, Tanner? I'm not, as, I'm not that good. Taysom is. You would hang with me then. Taysom's really good. So if you want to go golfing, go with him. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, golf, Jared wants to play with you. Yeah, let's play together <laughs> yeah, then. Yeah. We'll, we'll stick together. I then. don't believe you, though, because quarterbacks are always good at golf. Truth. Like, like David Nixon's Truth. like, oh, like our joints and hinges and everything's <laughs> jacked. The quarterbacks, the throwing motion, for some reason, just translates. Yeah, I, I, gotta work, I got a ways to go, though. I got to work on it. Okay. But we should go, though. We let's should, go, yeah. We'll let's practice. Go. Let's just go right now. Let's just can the rest <laughs> of this hour, and let's just bounce. <laughs> okay, we'll stay. We'll stay. Our, our producers are what? <laughs> blowing up behind yeah. the scenes right it, now. But along those lines of uh, what it's like for you guys, give us an idea of, of the workout schedule and mm-hmm. how hard you actually do work during the summer because you don't have a ton of time off, right? Yeah, and I, th- I think that's a, a big thing that, um, you know, it kind of goes unnoticed. You know, it's kind of behind the scenes. And, and there's always, like, there's a quote where it's like, you have to do, we have to work when no one's watching to be able to shine when everyone is watching. Mm. And it, it, it's kind of true. Like, you're working all winter long, spring ball, and then summer conditioning, you're, you're always working, you know, working. You know, whether it's lifting, running, throwing, uh, watching film, there's, there's, al- there's always things to do to get better. So we kind of have two groups right now because we have guys that work camps. So we, there's a group from 6 to 8 in the morning and then a group from 8 to 10 in the morning. And then a lot of it's on your own. I go, go in and watch film, go throw with guys on, after after workouts. So your, your whole morning is kind of taken up. You know, it's it's a all-morning thing. But it's fun, though. Like, you have to love it. You know, you have to have a passion for it because if not, you'd be kind of miserable. You know, because you put in so much time. But it's fun, and, and 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 then it pays off in the fall, you know. And that's that's I think that's why football season is so exciting, is because you put in so much time in the off season, and then here's the time where it gets to show, you know. And that's it's fun. How does the dynamic of you and Taysom Hill both being back make both of you better quarterbacks? Well, I think it's a good problem to have, you know. I think a lot of uh, you know the the fans or the 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 media that you know they're trying to make make it a a big deal, almost like it's going to be divisive, but it's it's not at all. You know, he and I are good friends. We get along. We get, the whole team gets along well, uh, and it's, it's a unique opportunity, you know, to have two quarterbacks who have experience and who have game experience. Um, so you know, you just but you can't at the same time you can't control it. You know, like that's the coach's decision. And he and I are both BYU guys. We love this team. We 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 want to win games. You know, bottom line. So it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't affect affect us too much we just go out and play and compete like we normally do you know like like we would if it was just one of us you know and no matter 
the situation is you go out and play and have fun and go compete and then just let 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 it happen. To me, to this whole the key to this whole quarterback thing is your attitude, honestly, because he's the senior, he was the starter, you played fantastic. So how how are you maintaining such a good um, team attitude with this? Because it will mm. be right now. It's all cool, right? Uh-huh, but true. it's gonna get a, it's gonna yeah. get a little more divisive later. And right? competitive, yeah. Com- yeah, competitive yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. I, I don't know. I think a lot of it is just is, is making that that decision mentally, just understanding that you know this is this isn't about me. This isn't about him. I mean, it's BYU. Like I love BYU. Like I've grown up watching them since I was a kid, and I, and he's he's a BYU guy too. So I think we both understand that whatever happens, it's it's for the best. And whatever happens, it's going to be, uh, you know, what's what's best for the team and help us help us win games. So I think you just have to you have to accept that. You just have to and, and embrace the competition too. I think no matter where you go, no matter what school you're at, or you know, or later on in the NFL, even I mean, every, every position is up for grabs. You yeah, know, it's competition everywhere. It's competition everywhere, and you so you have to accept that, embrace it, and then let it kind of motivate you to to make you better. And I think that's just the kind of the attitude you have to have is just accept it, embrace it, and know that it's it's all going to work out. The last quarterback battle there was, one was a return missionary, one was not. I think that that played a factor. I honestly do. One had some form of entitlement, and the other <laughs> did not. And he wanted to work hard, and he'd play on special teams or whatever. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. I won't say the name. <laughs> this is different. I, I honestly think that because you guys have had different experiences in your life, you've gone somewhere else and done that. Yeah. And and randomly you're both from the same state, so there's might be like Idaho pride. I, I don't know. know. It just it just might work. It just might work, right? I think it it does. But it's not two at the same time. There's do you anticipate they're going to be a starter and then we'll go from there? Honestly, I can't say. It's up to the coaches. And I, Coach Demer said that too. Like we'll we'll go out and play, we go out and compete, and then they'll make the choice. They'll make the decision. You know, so he as I was in the NFL, you know they they compete and compete, and then the coach decides and and you just roll with it. But I think it does. You know, does help. You know, he and I are, are, are both. You know, we we both get along, and I think it's just every situation is different. And I think we're able, we're both you know mature enough to handle the situation, to understand what you know what it's like, and um, so I think it's you know it's it's going to be okay. You know, and I, I think that's the 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 key here is just to not overhype it too much. It's easy because you have so much. It's, it's so long the off season, you know, and it's almost like yes, we know, and it's like a, <laughs> and it's like a tease. Every day. You know, they're like pictures where they put. Taysom and me and like the front and people are like oh like who is it you know who's it gonna be and like people are worrying about it so much yeah let me grab that yeah the media guide I saw like <laughs> it's like he and, he and I like boom right in the middle equally <laughs> so people are equal. people are wondering like oh who's it gonna be but you know like you can't yeah. worry about it too much you just like that's in the future you can't control that right now so you just had to go out and work hard now and then whatever happens in in the season will happen and just go out and make the most of it well you're working hard right now where do you feel like you've improved the most in terms of your quarterback play during the off season? well it helps having a full off season to put some weight on i was like, <laughs> like i mean last year i was fresh off the mission the, all that bread and coca-cola did you really understand what was happening at the time i honestly like I've, i i don't think i did to a point like it took me a few months to realize like a holy like we just like we won, we beat Nebraska in a Hail Mary and Boise State in a Hail Mary. Like it like took a long time to like set in because I was still in like missionary mode. <laughs> I mean, even I like need to get up at six thirty, Elder. I mean, even like in my interview after the game, I like kept talking about my mission and stuff like that. And like, it was, <laughs> I don't know, it just took a while to set to set in. And I was like two hundred pounds, kind of soft, and yeah. you know, like kind of weak. Pulled my hammy and all that, you know. So now it's been good to like be able to work out, you know, with the full off season, get stronger. I put on like fifteen pounds. I'm um, feeling a lot just more solid, more confident. And then a lot of it just um, like footwork, um, mechanics, just feeling a lot more solid in the pocket, kind of understanding what I'm doing. And then just game experience helps a lot. Like the game slows down for you. It's not as fast as it was when I first got back. You know, I've, I've been there, seen it now. So I'm feeling a lot more confident for sure. Was your helmet too big in the first game? <laughs> no. So What's the story it, there? <laughs> Lord Helmet or I know, whatever. Seriously, it was <laughs> baseball. So, I feel so embarrassed every time I see pictures from that game. It looks, <laughs> it looks, it looks so weird. It's like up here. So it was the same size, but like the the chin strap was like too a, loose, adjusted weird. Yeah. So that it kept like coming up. So that it was weird. So that that game, the next game, I, I told make our equipment guy like we gotta tighten my helmet. So then in the Boise State game, 
it was like too tight. It was like down here, <laughs> and it kept coming off because it was so tight. Like that last throw, like it, was, it came up like half my like it, like it was up in like the upper half of my head. And then finally, we kind of got it right. So it just took a while to get it, but you got it right for UCLA. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic insight, Tanner. <laughs> now you know the the story. Uh, yeah, I've always wondered. Yeah. We need to get you back in studio B right away. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it takes, man. If the helmet's too helmet big, dynamics. Yeah, we at least we won. You know, it absolutely. It was so loose that you could like get it up a little more. Yeah. Do you have? I mean, what kind of a history do you have playing under center? Because that's now going to be the majority of snaps. Well, it wouldn't necessarily be the majority of snaps. I think sometimes, like people aren't, you know, we're not sure exactly how much it's going to be, but it's it's um it's not completely new to me. I've done a little bit of it. I mean, in high school, it was, it was almost all shotgun spread, um, but growing up, even like little league football and the junior high, we did a little bit of under center, and then all the uh, Nike camps like in the summer, like Elite Eleven, Under Armour game. Um, the opening, a lot of it, a lot of that was under center too. Yeah. So I've done it a little bit, you know. So it's not completely new, um, but it just takes a little bit of getting used to, you know, a little bit of adjustment to be able to, you know, read the defense as you're dropping back, as opposed to catching the snap and then looking, you know. There's little things like that and the footwork, but uh, I feel good with it. And Coach Detmer really had us focus on that during spring because it was something new, you know, something we had to install. But I think it's it's getting to that point now where it's kind of muscle memory and and you can just go with it. So it feels good. I think it'll be good for us. What do you have to prove this season with this tough schedule? Man, everything. And I think that's what's so exciting about a new about every college football season is that every you know every year it's a clean slate. You know where everyone's zero and zero, and everyone has has to prove something. You know, so I think. We just have to prove that we're we're ready to go every game. You know, obviously it's a it's a tough schedule, but we can't worry about the whole thing. We just have to take it one game at a time. I know it's cliche, but it's the truth. Like right now, it's focusing on Arizona, then we'll focus on Utah, then UCLA, and so on and so forth. Do you know the whole schedule? Like, could you go down the line like that? Probably. I, I could probably get a few out of order, <laughs> but I mean, it's it's a sweet schedule, right? But you just have to take it one game at a time, and I think that's what everyone's trying to prove is that we can. Every team is going to prove wants to prove that they're you know, in it to win it, you know, and so it's exciting. Everyone's it's the beauty of it. Yeah, it's fresh, clean slate. Everyone's excited, you know, and so we're pumped. Everyone else is pumped too, so now he's got to go out and prove it, you know, so it's exciting. An epic start to his Studio B dominance, Tanner Mangum. <laughs> took so long. Almost Jeez. as good as your Hail Mary at Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Thank you. Please sign our flag, my friend. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Tanner Mangum has finished up. Do whatever you want.